So whenever a patient gets admitted to the hospital, whether it's just for observation overnight, or the patient is gonna be in the general medical floor, or the patient is going to the ACU, the doctor should always ask about code status. And code status, what it means is that what are they gonna do in the event of your heart stopping, right? So the way I explain it is, so you're gonna be admitted to the hospital, we're gonna be checking your vital signs, we're gonna be checking your labs, um, usually that is daily, and sometimes we might even connect you to a heart monitor, okay? Um, and that is to know how you're doing and how you're progressing and if the things that we're doing and are working or not, or if we're heading in the right direction. One of the things that we cannot predict is when your heart is gonna continue beating or if it's gonna stop, right? Um, so whenever your heart stops beating, your blood stops flowing and you just go unconscious and you go unconscious, you stop breathing as well. So we ask this question right now because whenever that happens, you will be unconscious and we cannot ask that question, right? You won't be able to answer it. So we ask this question now um, so that in case it does happen, you have already told us what you want us to do, right? So whenever this happens, that your heart stops, you stop breathing, the normal thing to do is to do chest compressions, right? Um, and then we put a tube down your mouth, um, down your mouth into your lungs and connect you to a machine that will be breathing for you. So we do that while we try and figure out what's going on. Sometimes we might have to shock your heart. Sometimes we might have to do um, put some pads in, in, and it'll be a pacing. That's what it's called. Um, and that's all part of trying to bring you back to life and figure out what went wrong and correct it. Okay. Some people would want us to do all of that. And some people say, hey, you know what? I do not want you to do, to do any of that. Whenever my heart stops beating, that is the end of my life. And I want you to respect my wishes. So whenever a patient says DNR, uh, do not resuscitate, it means exactly that, that we will continue doing everything, everything that we, uh, that we can. Um, so if you have an infection, we will continue treating the infection with antibiotics, with fluids, everything that needs to be done. Um, but in the only in the moment in which your heart stops beating, that's when we will back off and do nothing because you have requested us to do exactly that to do nothing. The exact opposite of do not resuscitate is full code. And a full code means that whenever the heart stops, you, uh, the medical team will continue doing everything. Uh, well, if they need to shock your heart, they will shock you. If they will require extra pacing, they will do the external pacing. Or if um, some aggressive medications, they will do the aggressive medications and they will definitely intubate so, and connect you to a machine to be breathing. Now, the doctors can also kind of give the recommendations. If the patient is at the end stage of their life or if they have a unresectable, untreatable cancer um, that will eventually take their life and there's no point in resuscitating and bringing back and part of it is causing more damage, sometimes the doctor will recommend to for the patient to be DNR.